you could cut the tension with a knife in that room. I just finished watching the verses between Gucci Mane and Jeezy, and you could tell that there was tension from the start. From the side shots that Gucci was throwing between songs, from the opener as a matter of fact. And it created, it's crazy how these two was in the same room for one. A lot of anticipation was crazy. It was built up like a title fight. It was like having Tyson and Holyfield in the same building. Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart in the same building. Jordan and Isaiah Thomas in the same building. You just knew something was going to go down. And what I liked about it, first of all, it leveled up pretty good. Even though Jeezy had more superior hits. I said this many times. Gucci's... Gucci's hits are more so of a cult following. Jeezy hits are nationwide and mainstream and stadium bangers and hood bangers. I'm talking anthems. And he didn't even get into My President is Black. He didn't even get into Go Get It with R. Kelly. There's a lot of songs. He didn't even get into Go Buddy. Gucci had some catchy songs, but they were pretty much cult followers songs that a lot of his fans would like but I knew what would happen he was losing yeah he was losing and he played the truth to get a reaction out of Jeezy then he started talking crazy like yo we smoking Tuka Pack I mean not Tuka Pack we smoking Pookie Lokes here and Jeezy had to sit him down on that grown man talk like look man let me tell you this right now bro we ain't going on that route we trying to lead by example we got too many beasts, too many shooters. There's too much going on between us as black men. This is a celebration of our catalogs. Let the past be the past. And you can't help but to respect that from Jeezy. That's a grown man talk right there. And Gucci fell in line with it. But what I did like though is that after that, they start playing more of the songs. And they did So Icy together, even though that's a whack record. I never liked So Icy. It was great to see them eventually, you know, patch it up. And Gucci said, I appreciate you reaching the olive branch. Um, I appreciate you uh, us taking that time to celebrate our catalogs. It's, it's behind us. Hopefully so. And they told me they was going to the compound tonight. But overall, this is probably the best verses next to Snoop and DMX. And Brandy and Monica. That's up there. That's the top three right now. But who do you guys think won this? Did Jeezy the Snowman win? Did Gucci win? I'm going to leave y'all dialogue on that. But I thought this was a great versus. This was a classic versus. So we should get game in 50 next. So subscribe. Hit the like button. Catch me tomorrow night. We about to have Smack Water on the show. And Saturday, we're going to have Screwball Radio with Poet and Comet. Let's go.